got Dylan here on a new release, Music Reaction Video. Now I know that Austin Brown from Home Free released something else, I think, I want to say about a week ago. And I know a couple of you guys told me. I know Marla Hudgens was on it always, always with the notifications. I know she told me, and I believe it was Cardi43 told me as well. <laughs> to be honest with you, I didn't get to check it out. Obviously, I didn't do a reaction to it. Um, I just didn't get around to it, guys, and I missed that opportunity. So now, I, I, <laughs> I guess he's come out with another one, and Marla had let me know about it. So, um... Here I am. The song is Sitting on the Dock of the Bay or The Dock of the Bay, which I think Austin released this to YouTube on January 20th, which uh, I don't have to tell you guys, there was a whole lot going on on the 20th. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a day late to getting to reacting to it and it'll probably go up sometime this weekend. Anyways, he does a cover of the song Made Famous by soul singer Mr. Otis Redding, who had co-wrote it with guitarist Steve Cropper, which I feel is very fitting because Austin is accompanied by his guitarist and friend, and I guess roommate too, right? Steve Martinez. The Dock of the Bay was recorded twice in 1967, including once just days before his tragic death in an airplane crash at the age of 26. The song was released in 1968, becoming the first posthumous single to top the charts in the United States. Redding had stated that he wanted to be a little different with this song, but people on his team worried that the Dock of the Bay sounded a little too poppy for the usually soulful Otis Redding. He had planned to record a final version, but he never got the chance. As he continued his tour, then his life was abruptly cut short in December of 1967. Cropper mixed the Dock of the Bay, adding the sound of seagulls and waves crashing in the background, as Redding requested, because the influence of this song was of Redding sitting on a rented houseboat in California hearing those sounds. I don't believe I've ever heard anything other than this song by Otis Redding. This song has always like made me feel so peaceful and so chill and I guess that was the feeling that he and Stephen Cropper wanted to convey through it. It's very sad to know that uh, he passed away at such a young age. Ah oh, man, these artists and uh plane crashes. It's just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Anyways, I can't wait to hear what Austin did with this. So I will be reacting to Austin Brown's rendition of Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. Right off the bat. Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening come Watching the ships roll in And then I'll watch them roll away again Oh, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. I left my home in Georgia, headed for the Frisco Bay. Cause I've had nothing to live for. Look like nothing's gonna come my way. So oh, I'm sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Oh, sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Looks like nothing's gonna change. Everything, everything, it remains. Same. I can't do what ten people tell me to do, so I guess I'll remain the same. Sitting here, resting my bones, and this loneliness it won't leave me alone. No, oh, it's ten thousand miles. 
ourselves our own Just to make this dark my home Now I'm a sit at the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Ooh, sitting on the dock of the bay Wasting time. <laughs> First, I got to say that. Austin looks so gorgeous here. <laughs> and Steve Martinez is a gorgeous guy too. Obviously, you know, I'm not gonna discount him, but whew, temperature rising. I love how he finds songs that reference Georgia. I just find it amazing that he always manages to shout out uh, where he's from through song. I, I, I just adore that. I seemed happy whenever he started whistling I wasn't sure if he was going to include the whistling or not. I've heard people do versions of this where they don't do the whistle. So when I was doing a little bit of research, my two cent research on this song, I had read that Otis, I guess at the end, he was going to do some sort of freestyle, like, rap? At least that's what Steve Cropper had said. Um he was going to do some ad-libbing or some sort of talking towards the end of the song. I can't exactly remember what, what Steve Cropper said. I almost feel like either Otis forgot what he was going to say or he didn't know what to say. So he just started to whistle as the song would fade out and he didn't get a chance to make a different version so Steve Cropper just kept it, kept that in the song. And I feel that that's what makes it iconic. It's a beautiful song, absolutely beautiful. And I think that Austin performed this so good. Can he do any wrong? Can he do a bad cover? Can he do a bad original? No. And Steve was good as usual as guitar accompaniment. So well done, fellas. Well done. Thank you again, Marla, for letting me know about this one. I try to at least be on point for home free releases, but, uh, and, and I love Austin. It has absolutely nothing to do with me not loving Austin enough to get, you know, on top of his new releases. It's just that I guess when that last one came out, I was super, super super busy and I just the moment just the moment just went by and it wasn't a new release anymore so and this one I missed it by a day but I got it I got it and I just got to edit it and put it up I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel I hope there's something on here that will make you want to subscribe Thanks for watching this new release reaction, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!